Single mum Sarah prided herself on being good with money, but the former mortgage broker lost everything after falling for a European celebrity and his sob stories. He's a crooner, an accused con man. All up, how much has this man cost you? About $400,000 and an alleged woman basher. These are photos of my injuries. How does it feel looking at these? Emotional. Yep. Yep. Does a woman have to die before anyone does anything to stop this man? I'm doing everything that I can to stop him. And that's all I can do. That's my fight at the moment. Australian mum of two, Sarah had the misfortune of attending one of Bosnian superstar Halid Muslimovic's Melbourne concerts in 2015. He pulled me aside and um, grabbed me by the arm and wanted a photo with me, so that's how it started. The singer got Sarah's mobile number through one of her friends. Well, uh, Obviously, um, then we started with the text messaging. It started becoming personal, obviously, and um, how many kids have we got and what's your relationship like and, you know, have you had previous relationships and um, your career? Uh, do you propose to ever come to Europe to live? And, you know, things started moving in that fashion, but they were moving really, really fast. And before you knew it, he invited me to go overseas, and which I did. By this stage, did you consider yourself in a romantic relationship with him? Pretty much so, yeah. The three-year long-distance relationship would cost Sarah's career. As a mortgage broker, you have to have a clean CRA. Um, I haven't got that anymore. So I've got lenders chasing me for, for money. That was all my financing. Halid would cry poor to the Melbourne mum, pleading for money to help fund building projects and his music career. Did you love him? Yes. Yes, I did. Factoring in the cost of constantly travelling to Bosnia and back and the dozens of international money transfers through Western Union, Sarah estimates she handed over as much as 400,000 Australian dollars during the relationship. That's, that's who I am. And, and to me, I was like helping this man out wouldn't be a problem. As with all love scams, this mongrel promised he'd pay his victim back. He's acting in these music videos. He was doing the same thing with you for those three years. Mm, it looks like he was the best actor. So just turn it off. I don't want to even look at him. Sure. A lot of the time, these women are really intelligent people and they're dealing with sociopaths that they've just never encountered before. Psychologist Simon Kinsella from CP Consulting says you should think twice before judging Sarah for handing over that large amount of cash. In this kind of scenario, you've got a mix of truth and, and lies that makes the person seem very credible and very believable. And sociopaths can be incredibly charming. They know exactly what buttons to press to convince people that the love is real, that the ambition is real, and that their motives are pure. But things were soon about to get a whole lot worse. After Halid failed to make good on paying back the money, Sarah flew to Bosnia to confront him. You told him you wanted that money back, but he didn't like that, did he? Next thing you know, bang, he just hit me with a fist right across my face. I started losing consciousness at that stage. And then he grabbed me with my arm. And then next thing you know, he just took a big bite into the side of my arm. And I thought, this man's going to have me killed here. If I don't just shut up, this man is going to kill and take my life. Sarah's injuries are too confronting to show on television. Halid initially told police he wasn't responsible. He was trying to say that, that you caused these injuries. You, yes. They were self-inflicted, but then police took one look at that bite mark and realised you didn't bite yourself. Yeah, well, that's, that's where the police officer had said to him, well, OK, if she fell out of the car, like you said, on numerous occasions, and she was falling over because she was so intoxicated, 
how did she manage to get that bite mark? The singer was hit with assault charges, causing a major stir in the Bosnian tabloids. Sarah reported Halid to Western Union, which investigated all the transactions she'd made to him. In April this year, the financial institution confirmed in its opinion Sarah had fallen victim to a love scam. That's when a person pretends to love another in order to take money from them. This is Western Union in black and white in writing here saying, we have decided to refund the principal amount of your money transfer as well as associated fees. You've been the victim of a scam. Correct. Have you seen that money? No. A current affair has contacted Western Union on Sarah's behalf. She's furious, it's now October and she hasn't received the money. It means she's unable to afford to travel to Bosnia at the end of this month to have her day in court and testify against the man who she claims could have killed her. I need justice, I need closure. This man has to pay for what he's done. Sarah has called the Department of Foreign Affairs multiple times for help. She says they haven't provided any. So I'm a victim of crime, I'm an Australian, and I don't count to have legal support to get justice for me as a victim. Can somebody justify that answer for me, please? The reality is, if Sarah had been charged over a crime in Bosnia rather than fall victim to one, she would likely receive more government assistance, according to international legal expert Professor Donald Rothwell from ANU. There is some level of inconsistency in terms of the level of assistance that's provided to a perpetrator, an alleged perpetrator of a crime, and then a victim of a crime. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm really lucky to be alive. But who's his next victim? And how far is he going to go with her if she harks up and starts asking for her money back? Sarah says she's terrified of facing Halid in court, but will if it means she'll get justice. To do that, she needs that money from Western Union. They're looking into her case to see why she hasn't been paid yet.